What's up, my Bar None Warriors? This is Chris, a.k.a. Bar None 11970, and as always, I thank you guys for taking the time to watch my video, and I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. All right, there's a lot of information going on in the world, all the things that are going on in Crimea, the Ukraine with Russia, with China, with uh, potential uh, devaluations of the dollar if certain events occur, like you saw in my breaking news video with Russia and China basically trying to bypass the dollar. There are a lot of sites out there that are basically using fear porn as a way to take advantage for people to go and view their channels. And I'm not going to mention names of these channels because pretty much people know who they are, but there's a lot of them out there. There are people that'll call me a hypocrite and things like that and say, well, I have the advertisements on my channel. So, you know, they think I sold out. But as you see, I am not now all of a sudden saying I need to get revenue. So I'm going to make such dramatic videos to get people's attention. I'm not talking about things like World War Three. I'm not talking about you know, people shooting each other in the streets and how you need to get gold and silver right away. Otherwise, you're going to die. You know, there are people that will take advantage of that because if you visit their channel, they will get revenue. Whether I get any revenue or not is irrelevant at this point. The fact is I have the advertisements. It's something that the partnership, it happened. I can't get out of it. So it is what it is. But I'm not going to be making thousands of dollars because I know what it takes to get people to come to this channel. And I am not about to do and stoop to those levels. So with that being said, there are many sites now that are talking about war with Russia, war with China, nuclear war and annihilation, because they think that's an entertaining thing to talk about. And I'm going to tell you right now, I've said this in videos before, there will be no nuclear wars. Because I don't care how desperate these elitist people are to hold on to their their old way of life and their old system to annihilate everything, including the planet that provides the air, the water, the food for them to live on the ground for the rest of their lives. You know, eventually you run out of food, you run out of water, eventually you run out of air. And if the surface is so destroyed that it takes a thousand years before it ever gets back to something semi livable, People would be such different species at that point that – think of it from this point. Would, would it be worth it to you if you had that choice? But fear is a way to control people. Fear is a way to lower your vibrations, to get you into that heavy feeling of anger and frustration, and you lose focus and you lose your courage. And that's why some of these trolls and haters out there, their job is to try and create division – anger and frustration. And you notice that I kind of mock the trolls at this point. I kind of laugh at them. I talk about them because, you know, I stand up to bullies, especially ones too afraid to show their faces. But their job is to try and get fear in you, thinking, oh, we're watching you, so you better be careful. Or, oh, we got information on you and we're going to spill it to the world. Well, somebody like myself who has nothing to hide, every single accusation I've ever had that was true or at least attempted to be true, I've always talked about, and I share with my subscribers, and the ones that have been here for a while know this. So I'm going to tell you right now, if we choose to live in fear, if we choose to allow bullies of any level to win, they will always keep control. Because if you know anything about bullies, they pick on the weak. They pick on the defenseless. They pick on people that they know will just allow them to continue to steal their lunch money or steal their money from their paychecks or their bank accounts. It's no different. A bully is a bully. They are cowards who hide or hire other people to do the work for them so they can take advantage of people too afraid to act. And the other video I made the other day with the breaking news story about what could potentially be happening. Now, remember how I kept saying potentially. I didn't say that Russia and China are guaranteed to make this deal. It's going to destroy the dollar. We're all going to die. And none of that doom and gloom crap. Just because you speak of something does not mean you have to make it into something over dramatic. Because there are always endless possibilities, but considering life is a path, life is a journey, the destination is determined by you. So if you're driving towards a cliff, well, if you're dumb enough to keep going towards the cliff, guess what? You're going over. But because we have free will, we could stop the car. We could jump out of the car. We can turn around. We have choices. 
So if the inevitable is if you continue to drive towards a cliff, you're going to fall over. Well, if you do nothing to adjust that, that is exactly what's going to happen. But again, because of free choice, we have the ability to say, no, I don't want to continue and fulfill that destiny. I have the ability to change it. And it's the same thing with wars, with governments taking control all around the world, with bankers stealing our money, with media talking about misinformation or eliminating important information. If we choose to stay silent, then we are basically that car driving towards the cliff, screaming how much it's going to suck that when we fall over and die, when all we have to do is change course or stop or get out of the way. That lies on each individual person. So is a nuclear war possible? Well, considering anything in life with infinite possibilities is possible, yes, there's a possibility. Do people want to sit around and allow these people at the top to cause that event? Because let me ask you this. How many presidents, how many kings, how many prime ministers, how many rulers, how many whatevers are going to be battling in those wars? Not a one. They will be sitting in their bunkers, nice and safe, sitting there watching all of the common man, us sheep who volunteer to do this stuff, to sacrifice our lives and sacrifice the lives of others. So they have some sort of gain or the ability to say, you know what, I'm the master of this chess game. I'll look what I can do. I can take my pawns and throw them all around and look how they fall. That only works when we allow it. So fear porn, it's all out there. It's very popular. You go to the main sites that do all nothing but fear porn. They have 20,000 views in one day. They have 100,000 views in a week. They have thousands of subscribers in the tens of thousands. That's drama. That is their way of getting you to their sites so they could profit off of our fear. People can say whatever they want about me, and it's the few people. It's the same ones that you see all the time. You go to um, some of these troll sites, and most of you know who they are at this point, and I'm not even going to dignify their names anymore because it's just, it's just trash. That when you go to their site, when they make a video that makes fun of me, for example, and makes these claims and just basically copy my video, okay, so you're regurgitating what I'm saying. You're not adding any information. So I don't deny it, and I don't regret what I say, but you see the same people over and over again. There's no one new because we have shown them that they have little power to do anything. And myself, for one, am not afraid of cowards who hide behind computers. We need to not be afraid to stand up for our rights, to say no, to have an opinion, to not let governments just ultimately drive our car off the cliff. Because if they driving, if they're driving the car, I guarantee you they're driving it by remote. So if, if you want to be on a bus that the elites are driving off the cliff and you're sitting there the whole time seeing it getting closer and closer, and you're like, oh, I can't believe they're doing this. And, oh, this is so wrong. And, oh, oh, we're going to die. And no. get off the bus. Don't ever get on the bus. Turn the steering wheel. Hit the brakes. Do something. Instead of sitting there, oh, I'm so afraid we're going to die. And look, that cliff is going over and there's nothing we can do. Well, yeah, if that's what you do the whole time, well, guess what? Here's the cliff. Here's the bus. Scream all the way down you want. Guess what happens when you finally hit the ground? Is that the life you want to lead? Is that the life you want to lead for your children? It's time that we do things. And I'm not saying you get the guns ablazing and you get the torches going and the pitchforks and you go start hurting people. No. Because if you go around, if you think your conclusion is to get peace, we need violence then you are no better than anyone else. I can understand the frustration where it's like, oh, these people are so evil. If I can only just murder that evil person. Well, if you don't like a person that's murdering people and you murder them, uh, how are you not on the same level? The idea is to find a better way. The old way is not working anymore. And that's why more and more people are waking up and 
not accepting what is being rammed down all of our throats via the media and our governments throughout the world. The masses who don't want to hear it, it's not because they're not privy to the information. It's not that they're incapable of searching out information. It's they refuse to listen to the information. They don't want it because of why? Fear. Because they're afraid that if they stand up, then they're going to be someone that's taken out or abused or ridiculed, and then their life is over. Well, look at me. I'm just a regular Joe Schmo who some morons out there think I'm some paid government shill that's going around and I don't know what they're thinking. I mean, yeah, I drive a 2003 Hyundai. I'm definitely living the life of luxury. You know, some of these people, they just, it's, it's like the media. You make an accusation. And you don't have to have any proof because some morons will actually believe an accusation without proof. But as you see, I'm still making videos. As you see, I am not like crying every day. I'm not saying, oh, my God, I'm going to die and uh, or just stop making videos because a few people made some videos that make fun of me. A bunch of cowards, a bunch of babies, people that possibly either they're getting paid to do it, which makes them sold out traitors or they're doing it for free which makes them sold out idiots because if you're not even profiting from it then you're just a person with too much free time in your hand so my channel will never be as popular as some of the bigger ones because i don't use fear porn because i'm not going to insult my subscribers because they come here to get as much truth as they can get from a person with a limited ability to get information and I'm not making up stories and I'm not trying to exacerbate them and try and make them into something bigger just so people will watch my channel. So if you want to live in fear, fear is a choice. If you choose it, then why are you complaining? We need to be strong. We need to be together. The video I made the other day with the breaking news, people came to my aid and people stopped those trolls right in their tracks. And it shows when people are motivated, we can do amazing things. And that's what they don't want you to know. Fear is a choice. I choose not to live in fear. What do you choose? Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, favor, subscribe, comment, all that other fun stuff. We would love for you to be one of the Bar None Warriors. Thanks for watching, as always, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget, have your trolls spayed or neutered. Peace.